Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Naughty Llama here, and I've got some uh, MLB The Show franchise mode with the uh, Nationals here. So, uh, we won our division. I don't know. It only showed it for like three seconds there, but I think we won 99 games, and um, Miami was seven games behind us. So, uh, we, we won our division pretty easy there. So, there you can see the uh, playoff brackets. We're playing San Francisco. Uh, Miami and Cincinnati are playing, and then I didn't even see what was in the uh, AL, but yeah, that's the ones for the NL at least. So, pitching Steven Strasburg here in the first game, and I think they got Lincecum or Kane pitching. I'm not sure. It might be Kane, actually. They might have bumped him up for their first spot in the pitching rotation. Um, I don't know. Lincecum's kind of struggling in real life. I don't know. I think his stats are really good in this game, so we'll have to see who they're pitching. But uh, here in the first inning, I get in a little uh, jam here. They got two on with uh, two outs here, so... I get, I think that was Buster Posey, I get him to uh, pop or line out there to uh, third base, so that ends that. So here we are in the uh, in the fourth inning here. Let me see if I'm pitching or batting. Yeah, here I'm batting, or uh, I'm pitching. They got two on with no outs, so uh, this uh, kind of sucks for me there. I get that guy to pop out to uh, deep center field, so um, I'll throw it a second there. So they'll put runners on the corners with no outs, so... Um, this is a pretty good season for us. Like I said, I think I played like three or four games and simulated the uh, pretty much the entire season. So our team did really well. We won 99 games, like I said. So I think we should be able to win the NL at least. Um, I don't know if we'll win the uh, World Series or not, but I think we're the best team in the NL, so that'll be good. So here they got loaded bases with only one out, which really sucks. I'm just trying to get out with get out of this little jam here with as much uh, or as minimal damage as possible. So there I get Huff to strike out looking. So. Um, they get this guy pill up, and uh, he fails that pitch off. So let me see what the count is here. Um, yeah, so it's an 0-1 count, I guess, his entire at-bats in here. Uh, he takes a ball, which is just, like, barely considered a ball. That was right on the corner. That could have probably won either way. So I think I was just trying to throw fastballs, because Strasburg can throw 99, 100 miles an hour. So um, that'll usually, like, go past him. There the slider just gets in there. So it's a 2-2 count here, and I think I... Yeah, I threw this one on the corner, and that'll get him looking. So I get out of a really big jam there. They had, uh, I think they had bases loaded with no outs, or two on with no outs. So um, get out of that. Um, so it's 1-1. We scored a run simulating, and I guess they scored a run at some point in this game. We're in the top of the seventh. They get runners on the corners, which uh, I'll just let the game play. I don't really guess I have to talk about it, because I saw some things. Uh, I mentioned this in another video. Uh, talking about E3, it was the other day. There was a bunch of new games. If anyone doesn't know, E3 is just... Uh, it's the Electronic Entertainment Expo. They have it once a year, and it's where they show off all the new games and stuff. Uh, new, uh, like, Xbox, all the Kinect crap features that they have coming out. So uh, there's a bunch of cool games coming out next year. There's uh, Black Ops 2, which comes out in the fall. It should be pretty good, hopefully. It's set in the future. It's, like, 13 years in the future, which will be uh, different to see a Call of Duty game in the future. And then uh, there's a new Gears of War coming out. They didn't say when, but it's going to be a prequel to uh, the third one, so... It'll take place before all the Gears of War story happened. It'll kind of, like, set it up. Kind of like, uh, I think, like, Halo Reach was. And then uh, there's a really cool new uh, game, South Park game, coming out. It looked kind of fun. It was like an RPG game, only it was in the, in the town of South Park, which the game's in. So, I don't know. That looks kind of fun. I don't know if it'll be good or not, because it's a cartoony game. But, you know, it looks something kind of fun, because they said it was based off Skyrim, which, uh, Skyrim was a fun game, but you get stuck on a lot of places. It was kind of annoying at some points but it's fun when you're doing good in that game so um i think the south park game will be good i think it comes out next march which is a long time away and then uh what else was coming out oh halo 4 is coming out in november which uh i don't know that'll probably have a good story i don't know if the multiplayer will be that good or not and um yeah i think there's a bunch more stuff coming out too but i don't forget it so uh what's everyone looking forward to for like next year i think uh Gears of War, the new one, will be sweet. And then hopefully Black Ops 2 will be good. I'm looking forward to that. And then uh, I think I'll get Halo 4 just to play the story because uh, Halo always has good games. So um, yeah, here in the bottom of the 8th, and uh, San Francisco is up 2-1. So I bunt with that guy to put a runner in scoring position. So hopefully I can drive him in here. So um, yeah, there's that. And then I saw uh, the Heat and uh, Oklahoma City Thunder are playing in the basketball championship, which I... Uh, I know nothing about basketball at all. There's a wild pitch, so I gave to a third on that. That really helped me out there. So, um, yeah, I know um, almost nothing about basketball. So, um, I don't know. I think a lot of people are picking Oklahoma City to win, which, um, I don't know. I think they have the younger team. So, I would assume they're going to win. Um, I don't know. The Heat's really good, though, but they're just, like, dependent on LeBron James, which, uh, I don't know. I try to watch basketball sometimes, but it's kind of boring for me. It's a little slow paced. I think it's a funner sport to play than watch. And here I would try to get the sacrifice fly, and it was really shallow, but I went anyways, which I probably shouldn't have. And the throw was off balance. Posey tried to like put his arm out to tag me out, but 
Marauder avoided it, so I will tie the game up there. That was a really uh, lucky play by me. I probably should have been thrown out there if the throw was on online with a plate or something. But I pinch hit here. I got Adam LaRoche up with a uh, full count, and they end up walking me here. So got a runner on first with that two outs here. So I don't know if I can make anything happen or not. But um, I think that brings up the top of my batting order, which is nice. I got Worth up, who is uh, 0 for 3. And I don't know if I like Worth on the top of my spot or not because uh, – I guess he's got decent speed, but he's more of a power hitter, but a lot of my players are really power hitters and none are really, like, speed guys, so I guess I'll just keep Worth up there, because Worth is probably a good, like, person to put in the third or fourth spot in any team's lineup, but I guess he'll stay in the first spot for me, so I had Harper in the third spot, which, uh, they had a right-handed pitcher pitch in, so it worked for me, but here they got a lefty in in the ninth inning, so, uh, didn't work out too well for me, and I think this was, like, a 10-pitch at bat or something ridiculous, so it was kind of crazy. Oh, I saw uh, the Devils one, if anyone was watching hockey or not. I have watched, like, uh, two games since the Penguins got eliminated. I really haven't watched any uh, any hockey at all, but the Devils won, so there'll be a game six in L.A., which I'm assuming L.A. would take because they're a better team. They get better goaltending and stuff like that, but uh, it's cool to see New Jersey putting up a fight. But once you go, out, go down three games to none, I really don't think uh, you can come back from that, especially from the Kings because I think they're too good. They got really good. Really good offense and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, here the count is 2-2. Two -two, I think I fell off like 10 more pitches or something ridiculous. There I took a ball. That screwball was just on the corner. That could have probably went either way. But, um, yeah, that fills up the count here. So I call it a little thing for time. Sometimes it'll, like, if they're going to throw a strike, if you call time, they're going to throw a completely different pitch. So maybe I was going to get a ball here. I wasn't sure. And uh, that worked out for me because they throw a changeup way outside there. So that'll put Harper on first, which, uh, Harper's got decent speed, but they get a lefty on, so I think the pickoffs are really easy, and they get a left-handed pitcher on, but I go anyways, but I pop out to center field, so I have to return Harper here, so um, I don't know if I take off on the next, or no, that's a ground rule, ground rule double, I should have probably watched this, so um, I think that was actually might have been an error, and it bounced up for a ground rule double, I don't know, uh, yeah, it's a scores decision error, I didn't really see what happened, I guess their center fielder must have missed it or something, but they walked this guy, uh, Guzman, who's really not that good. I think they just wanted to try to turn a double play here. So they bring a right-handed pitcher in to face uh, Ed Jose Iglesias up. I pinched hit for him for a uh, left-handed hitter, so that's why he uh, changed stances real quick there. I forget who I pinched hit for, but I pop out to foul territory there. So I got loaded bases with two outs in the bottom of the ninth. And I got uh, my catcher, Wilson Ramos, up, who is uh, pretty underrated. I think he's a pretty solid catcher. So first pitch, I... Uh, did I foul that off or miss it? I don't know. It's a strike either way. So that one was uh, pretty good in the strike zone. That was a high pitch. That would have been a nice one to go after. But next pitch is a uh, changeup just outside. And that's a pretty fast changeup, 89 miles an hour. That's like some uh, some guy's fastball. So, um, yeah, let me see. This is a pretty nice at bat here for Ramos. Um, yeah, there I get one down low. I think that was a slider or something. I'm not sure. But I destroy it with Ramos. We get a walk off grand slam, which is nice. So. We'll take game one out of the best of five series. Uh, what was it, eight to, or six to two, I think? I don't know. I thought it was eight four. Uh, you win this one six two. Uh, pretty close game, but the uh, grand slam made it look like it was a much bigger scoring difference. So the next game, I am pitching uh, Gio Gonzalez against uh, Tim Lincecum, I think. So I'll have that video up tomorrow or the next day. So uh, all right, that's it, guys. Uh, bye.